Good afternoon, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and I bring you all my updated dual avatar deck profile 2023 post Cyberstorm Access. I think this deck got a really, really two powerful cards, and I want to go over them real quick. First things first, we already know about the common dual avatar, dual avatar manifest Aeon. Uh, this card's basically their new boss monster, it requires dual avatar and power Kongoyo. And dual, oh, it doesn't require, it's any two dual avatars, but it gains effects based on what you use. And it requires dual avatar and powered Kongyu, and this card becomes a 3,000 attack during the damage calculation only. And then also has the effect of you use dual avatar and powered Mista Jockey once per opponent's turn, a quick effect. Target one card of fuel, banish it. And this future card is destroyed. Special on one dual avatar's fist Yumi and one dual avatar fist feet from your deck. It can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Really, really cool card. Uh, I don't know how much you're going to get both materials of the 3000 and the other guy because if you don't know, the two boss, the two monsters it's mentioning to get the effects, uh, the first two effects, are your boss monsters. Uh, Empowered Kongjoy is your light. 3000 attack monster who basically helps you push your game and empower miss jockey uh basically is a quick effect destruction who requires a lot of material as well so i don't know how consistently you can get both materials on them but you can definitely get the quick effect banished material which is pretty great now dual avatar also got trap tracks if you don't know trap tracks is actually the new trap card that helps decks that want to be destroyed and dual avatar kind of likes to do that if you don't know the whole point of dual avatar is that they kind of float when they're well they don't really float like unchained floats when they're un destroyed but effects happen when cards are destroyed for example uh let's say a fusion monster control is destroyed while you have a uh, fist in the grave then fist will add itself back to hand and koi koi well, when a fusion or when a card you control is destroyed, uh, you can then special summon it from the hand, and then you gain one of these effects. Either destroy a dual avatar monster you control, and if you do special summon a dual avatar fusion from your extra deck, which is pretty, pretty insane. So, that's basically the whole gimmick of this deck. It's just kind of like fusion summoning. The one thing I would admit that we haven't really got that, that would have helped this deck immensely we really don't have a card that fixes card advantage. The biggest issue with Dual Avatar is not that they're not a consistent engine. It's just that it takes so much card advantage to end on a very little board. Because their spell cards require you to discard. Uh, dual Avatar Invocation is an amazing card. But it requires a discard. And what it does is special summons tokens on the field as much as possible... Uh, dual avatar, and then you fusion summon with the tokens. It's like Sword Soul, but for a fusion deck, instead of using uh, tuners and in, in the tokens, the fusions are the tokens. It's just really, really cool. It's a really cool concept. And yeah, that's really about it. Uh, as you can see in my list, I'm playing Supply Squad because if I was goofy, you destroy your cards every turn, your opponent's destroying cards every turn. It's just a free draw one every turn, which is kind of cool. Uh, it's not practical. This deck is not meta at all, but I think it's really cool. Uh, dual avatars uh, are mentioned in materials. So you use fusion deployment to cheat them out. They're also warriors, so reinforce. Uh, it's called Roto Works. Terraforming is just a great card because our field spell adds one to hand, and it's a fusion. It's pretty solid because it's a fusion will summon out manifest. You can either use manifest as fusion material, or he'll die during the end phase. Thus triggering special summoning out both dual avatars fist and dual avatars feet from your deck, which is absolutely solid, which will trigger them, which is great. And that's really about it. It's a really, really cool deck. It's really interesting. But until we get like more main deck guys, I feel like this deck will always be like table 500 cool. Now the engine's consistent and has some really really cool ideas like the blue guy is a quick effect negate for extra deck monsters and the red one's a quick effect pop for extra deck monsters uh well it's not really a quick effect pop but basically if a card is special summoned 
you can target one attack position monster opponent controls and destroy it so you can quick fuse into this guy and then he'll just pop a monster opponent controls so he's technically a quick pop which is pretty solid because we can fuse summon our opponent's turn which is really, really cool and manifest like i said if he has the material correctly he's a quick like banish and empower mista uh not only you can return all spells and traps your opponent controls to the hand but he also has an effect when a monster effect is activated on your opponent's field that you control two or more fusions quick effect destroy that monster so it's also a quick effect pop as well so there's a lot of cool popping and negating effects and banishing effects in this deck which is really really cool it's just the hand advantage is so bad that's why i like supply squad because we get to draw a card every turn uh this deck like i said needs to just have a card in hand at all times because their best spell card invocation requires a discard and you're doing that during both players turns so you lose hand advantage very easy decks it's kind of like pearly but pearly's way better because pearly's like modern like it, it's like a modern deck where it like none of their cards are like once per turns ish or what they once per copies and i don't know there's probably just a way better version of this deck and so is sword soul and so is branded it's, it's kind of like all three of those decks combined but this deck came out before all of them does that make any sense because it's a fusion deck like branded and it revolves around tokens spawning to create boss monsters from the extra deck like sword soul and their most powerful cards require a discard the summon guys which is pearly so it's a little bit of both but at the same time it's also like a worse version of all of them so that's really about it i hope you all enjoy don't do anything stupid and i'll see you all in the next one <laughs>